Hello everybody. It's Cooking in the Kitchen with Sylvia again. Today I'm going to show you a simple salmon cake recipe that I have. Um, it doesn't require a whole lot of stuff, but uh, some of it I'm sure you probably already have in your pantries. Uh, we're going to start with about, um, it's not quite one pound of salmon. I would say about half a pound of salmon that I've got here. And I've got another piece. I'm going to show you how to cut it up because um, we want to cut it in small pieces. We have um, some lemon. I chopped about half a cup of bell pepper, about a quarter cup of chopped onions, some parsley, we've got an egg, salt and pepper, and some flour. So we're going to make some salmon patties. We're going to fry up on the pan, and I'll show you how to do that. But you want to cut your salmon in small pieces so that we can form the little patties. And all you need to do is just get yourself a piece. Make sure it's skinless. You can always remove the skin if you have one that has skin. And then just, you know, just slice it up in little chunks, small as small as you can get them, but they don't have to be exact. Sometimes it's a little tricky to work uh, with salmon. It does help if you have it just a little bit chilled or even just slightly frozen, it makes it easier to, to cut. So you want to chop those in small little pieces. I did remove the skin on this one, that's why they're sticking together a little bit, but that's okay. So you just want to chop them up like that, small chunks. When we form them into little patties, they'll uh, stick together if they're smaller pieces. They're not, uh, they don't have to be real, real tiny, but just chop them as small as you can. So, just like that. Like I said, this is about not one pound, but probably about a little more than half a pound. This is actually one of my large um, fillets. I cut it in half. So, and that's kind of what I'm going with the the amount that we have. So just put that in there. Let me go wash my hands real quick. Okay. So um, once you've got it in the pan, if you think the pieces are too big, you can always get a fork and just, you know, chop them down a little bit like that. Since the salmon is not cooked, it's still a little pli pliable and you can you can do that. So we just want to make sure we, that we don't have too big of a piece. I think I've already uh, got mine pretty much in small chunks. So that's all you need there. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to season this. And we're going to add probably about a quarter teaspoon. You don't need a whole lot of salt, but you do want salt because it's fish. And if you want a little more, that's up to you. Um, everyone has salt they have to add, but sometimes we have to control that. And then we're going to add about the same on some garlic powder. So about a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And if you want, you can add a little dash, just a little dash of pepper. You don't need a whole lot because it's not a spicy um, um, meal. So we're going to mix that up with the into the salmon. Doesn't take a lot. Okay. Now we're going to toss in our onions. Okay. And I guess at about oh, not a half a cup, but maybe a little less. And we're also going to toss in our bell peppers. This one is, I tried to make a quarter cup, but it's a small bell pepper. I went ahead and just used the whole thing. You can use the green peppers, you can use the red or the yellow, whichever one you have around or whichever one you prefer. Okay. Let's mix that around. And then you can toss in your parsley. This is just a little, little bit, about a quarter cup. Just toss that in. You might be wondering onions and bell peppers and salmon, but 
The truth is, this gives it a very nice flavor. Okay. So now we want to add some lemon. So before I slice this lemon, I want to add the, some of the lemon zest. So you want to get your grater and just give a little peel on the skin. Just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. And when you do this, make sure you don't go all the way to the white because the white is bitter. Just a little. There we go. That's a bit stuck down there. And now I'm going to slice this lemon. And we're going to use the juice of just half of the lemon. So unless I have some seeds in here, I'll be extra careful. So just squeeze out some of that juice. And there's those seeds. <laughs> and you can save the other half for serving your salmon cakes. So there we go. Yeah, this lemon had a lot of seeds. So there we go. We got those seeds out. Mix that up. And then we're going to take one egg, whoopsie, <laughs> slippery egg, and we're just going to beat it really quick. We don't need to overbeat it, but just mix it up. This is going to help bind these cakes. There we go. Mix that up. But not least, we're going to toss a little bit of flour, which is also going to help bind these little cakes. So we're going to start with about a quarter cup, and that's usually about what you need. So just drizzle a little first. Mix that up. What we're looking for here is that it's going to start getting kind of sticky, and that's what we want. a quarter cup is pretty good. You think it needs a little more because it's not sticking because your lemon was too juicy or something. You just add a little more flour. So here we go. Got the salt, we've got the pepper, the garlic powder, the bell peppers, the onions, the lemon juice. So here we go. So here's here's what I'm talking about as far as it's sticky. We want to be able to create a little patty on a spoon like that so that when we place it in our pan it'll hold. Now I could tell that this is still a little bit wet so I'm going to add just a little more flour just to give it a little more hold. Okay, so I'm just going to toss probably another two tablespoons or so. I do want it to stick. That one was a little bit wet so just a little more flour. Yeah, I can feel that it's getting more sticky now, but that's good. Okay, so see, now it's, it's holding its shape a little bit better. So when you form your patty, it's going to hold a little better. So, because once we scoop it into the pan, we're going to go like this, and we want the pan to, we want it to hold it, some of its shape. So that's good. Okay, so now all we need to do is heat up a pan with some oil. You don't need a lot of oil, but you do want to have enough there to help give you a nice crispy crust. So you want to add probably just to cover the base of the container. Depends on the size of your pan, how much oil you're going to put. Now we want to heat it up. Not so hot that it's going to burn, but kind of a medium to high heat. I want that to warm up a little bit. And like I said, we're going to fry these up a little, you know, crispy. We're going to drain them, and then you can serve them. So I'm going to let that warm up just a little bit, and I'll show you how to fry them.
Okay, so our pan has heated up the oil on the pan, as you can see. I removed just a little bit of oil because I think I had a little too much, but you just want enough to coat the bottom, as you can see there. So it's probably a couple of tablespoons. So now what you want to do is you want to get a large spoon, you can use a spatula too, and you want to just kind of press it down, just like that. And then we're going to carefully put it into our pan. So, and then press it down again. And you can see that it's heating up there. So that's why you don't need too much oil because we're not really we're not deep frying these. We're just cooking them. They're just small patties. So make yourself another patty and do the same. Flip it over. And just press it down a little bit. If you want them bigger, you can do that. You can make them a little bit bigger. Um, but you don't, you want to make sure if you do make them bigger, you're going to have to make sure that you give them a little more time to cook inside because they are large enough. These are about spoon size. They make a they make nice uh, addition to a salad. They're also good for snacking. See the flour and the egg are what's holding its shape. So if you look carefully, i start turning this one because it's starting to heat up more. You just want to flip them over. See? And you don't want to make them too big. And you don't want your fire to be too high either because you don't want them to burn. So you can lower the fire if you think it's too high. Always add a little more oil if you want. So you just have to go to the next one and do the same. And Since they're small, you don't need a lot of cooking. You can see the back is starting to brown. That's good. Good. Leave them there for just a little bit because you want the inside to cook. And like I said, you're not deep frying them, but you do have to have enough oil there to make them crispy. This batch, and then oops, I could have left that there a little bit longer, but that's okay. I can flip it over. But like I said, just want them to get all crispy. So cook inside. That's why we don't make them too big, because I want them to have enough time to cook. If you have any doubt that they're cooked, they're not cooked inside, but you've got them all crispy and you don't want them to burn, you can um, put them on your paper towel and when you're ready to serve them just pop them in the microwave for like 30 seconds or maybe a minute but probably 30 seconds is enough because this is hot I and mean, this uh, oil is hot so it's going to cook it through and besides when you take it even when I take it out from the pan it's still cooking inside and since there's not a lot of ingredients other than the fish and the peppers and the vegetables it doesn't need a whole lot of cooking. See, that one's a pretty good, pretty good thing. So just pop it over there. They're still pretty much cooking along the way. And then we do the same with the rest of the mixture. So just pop it in. If you think you want to flip it over one more time, like that one there, it needs a little more browning. You can do that. Just keep an eye on them. And then when you're ready to do your next batch, you just add a little more oil. And Fry and you know, they're frying up. It's kind of a, a low, not a deep fry. Okay. So I'm going to finish this batch here and then I'm going to finish the rest and I'll show you how we can plate them. Okay? Okay, here we go. 
got this piece last too. I actually made these just a little bigger than the others. That's why I told you you can make them small, spoon size, or you can make them a little bit bigger. So there we go. We just got to drain them a little bit. A little bit of some of that oil out. Turn off our fire. And there you go. They have a simple salmon cake recipe. I call them cakes because they're like almost like crab cakes, but they're salmon. They're very delicious. You can serve them um, with lemons, wedges. You can serve them with your favorite salad dressing. And you will in, I'm sure you will enjoy this recipe. So there we go. We made about a dozen salmon cakes. Um, they're simple. To make, you don't need a lot of oil, you just need a simple pan with some oil, few ingredients, and you've got yourself a salmon cake recipe. Hope you enjoy it. Bye!